think this Six Nations competition is going to be a really competitive affair. We saw Wales beat Ireland very recently and I think that throws everything open in terms of the mix. Obviously the whole competition is, I think, with the backdrop of the World Cup coming in August, it's going to add a lot for sides really wanting to build, get their performances in place and then drive on from it. So it's going to be a fascinating tournament that, that spans out over the weekends and, uh, and who knows this year, I think. A player to watch from Ireland certainly is Sene Neuku, an unbelievably dynamic centre. Again, she has all the skills, her passing, kicking games are strong, and she brings a real kind of uh, emotional edge to her game as well that, that other players feed off. So, really excited to see her playing again. My tip for the title would be England. I think they are looking pretty strong under Simon Middleton now uh, in the women's tournament, and uh, I think the likes of Daniel Waterman and the Sevens players and Olympians that they've had back into the mix are making them look strong and, and after a decent autumn I can see them going on to win the Six Nations. They're the, the Six Nations winners, France, um, so I really hope they can push England all the way. They've changed the coaches early in January, um, so let's see how they settle up pretty quick enough to uh, go on and win the tournament.